Becky, it's Carrie here with Wild Thing Marketing, and I have a fun little lesson for you today. So one of the biggest uh, concerns that a lot of business owners have when they're thinking about automating some of their sales and marketing processes is how to be able to, how they can communicate uh, those automated messages with still keeping, you know, their brand intact and, and making it seem as if uh, they're the ones sitting behind their, you know, computer sending you that email. So they want that personalization. Now just like with everything in life there's there's you know a right way and a wrong way to do things and there's a lot of latitude in between there uh, but I want to share this example with you today so I I got a LinkedIn message or it was a connection request I accepted the connection request um, from this gentleman whose name shall be <laughs> not released and he sent me a message right away so he's obviously using some sort of um, automated system to do this and I want to just read to you what he says he says, Carrie, I want to introduce myself in a way that shows I'm interesting, witty, and clever. Rate my performance. Kind of interesting, right? A little bit on the cheesy side. He says, tell me what you'd prefer, gouging your eyeballs out with a rusty spoon or managing digital marketing for Wild Fig Marketing. Seems a little bit redundant. Uh, please choose the latter for your own sanity. Realistically, one third of business owners don't have the time to grow their company online, so I do it for them. I'm sure you know a thing or two about getting new construction jobs, but you're a busy man. How about I give you some ideas free of charge to enhance your digital marketing? If not, well, enjoy the rusty spoon. Now, last time I checked, I'm not a man. I'm not in the construction industry, so obviously this you know, gentleman unfortunately didn't really do his research, and he just threw me right into an automated campaign, which is not something I would recommend. Uh, taking that, taking those steps to kind of personalize something, doing your research with automation, there's so much information that you can gather from your prospects so that you can really uh, customize the content based on them. So here's my response, because I just couldn't help not sending him something back. I said, hi Chris, thank you for your email. Love the, roos the rusty spoon eyeball analogy. Sounds pretty painful almost as painful as being mistaken for a man. Wink. If you'd like some helpful marketing tips on how to personalize your automation, I'd be happy to share them with you. So it's a little bit tongue in cheek, but like I said, I couldn't help myself. So if you're thinking about automating uh, some of your marketing or your sales processes, uh, know that A, you can make them personalized. They can reflect your brand, uh, but B, make sure that you're being really careful if you're using a system that's just gonna take information and just, you know, send something out right away that you're doing your due diligence so that uh, that message that you took the time to craft doesn't fall on deaf ears or ears that are going to instantly disconnect uh, once they get a chance on LinkedIn. So that's your lesson for today. I hope you enjoyed it.